Oh, what's going on everybody? Z here and welcome uh, to Pathless Woods. Now this video is actually sponsored by the developers of Pathless Woods, so huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Now this is an open world survival crafting type game and it is a co-op game, so uh, I believe you can play with up to four players. If I'm not mistaken, I was going to try to do some co-op stuff, but um, it I just don't really have anybody to play with so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and just hop in and check it out hopefully you're all having a wonderful day i'm having a fantastic day link down below if you want to check it out for yourself but it looks really um it's like a cozy type game it looks pretty interesting okay so wake up hello switch pointer mode what is this place hold down right mouse button to move the camera okay easy enough oh this game looks very pretty uh, you finally come to your senses. Hurry up and come this way. I'm waiting for you up ahead. Follow the path and find the origin of the sound. And press space to jump. That's easy enough. This looks neat. Um, shift to run. We can zoom in and out. Oh, wait. Hold on. Control to zoom in and out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's open up these doors. <gasps> what we got here? I need water. You're not in good shape. Grab a bite to eat and keep yourself hydrated. Okay, so we got food and water. So there is some, I believe there's base building, there's gardening, and there's also like some like defensive things going on too, where you have to like defend your stuff against like marauders and stuff like that. So, um, but let's see what we got here. Um, pull up. To consume an item, you need to first select it using the number key and then E to consume it. Okay, well, hold on. We're going to go ahead and pull these up. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit one. I'm going to hit E. And so I ate. What is that? It's a radish. Oh, I'm sure it's a delicious radish. What is this? A uh, ripe yam. Should we eat that? Ooh, the yam. Ooh, the yam is. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, we got some water over here. Drink at a pond to restore hydration. Uh, all right. Quick water. Wait, quick water filling. No container for water. Okay. So we're good on that. Regain your strength. Replace your sachet and hydration to 70% or above. Okay. Well, here, let's just finish eating these yams. <laughs> it's funny that they're yams. They look like they look like sticks. <laughs> okay. So we're good there. All right. You've eaten too much and couldn't absorb all the nutrients. Oh, no. Uh, need a corresponding key. <gasps> oh. Okay. I really want to get into the base building and stuff like that. I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be pretty neat. All right. So let's see. You found a key now with it in your inventory. Yep. Easy enough. Oh, it's going to have me build an ax. Switch to ax. Okay. So I can't craft an ax. So I probably have to go down here. I probably have to grab wood. Press Z over the craft icon on the left to open the crafting interface. Press F to hold. Hold F to pick up all items. Okay. And then we can press Z or we can click here and we need to craft. What do we need for a stone axe? We need wood, straw rope and stone. So straw rope. We need common rush. Uh, okay. Okay. So we're gonna need this stuff. So basically like plant fiber kind of deal. Okay, very, very neat. Oh, and then we got some stone over here. Perfect, I guess we have everything we need. Um, okay, so crafting, we need a straw rope. So craft one of those and then a stone ax. We'll craft that, boop, very nice. And then we can switch to our stone ax and we should be able to cut down these trees. Is that, is that what I'm, oh. We have like a, oh, oh, wow. I'm like the expert crap uh, expert. So, but then you can also just press and hold E if you want to. So like, if you don't want to do like the little mini game thing, you can just press and hold E and call, call good. Uh, we might as well take this wood with us. Excellent. Now keep moving. Ah, uh, I bet you we're going to need a pickaxe now. Um, yep. Switch to pickaxe, big stone. All right. You need to pick, destroy that rock. Let's see if you can probably find one. All right, I bet you there's something in here. Oh, we need a key? I bet you it's in here. Hey, okay, so there's the key. 
open up this bad boy here. What do we got here? Okay, equip a bag and press B to open it. Oh, okay, so we have a, um, we have a pick. Okay, so we can use that. Oh, cool, we didn't have to craft one. We just, we just got one, we got one for free. Okay, we made it through there, not even difficult. Almost to the top of the hill. Follow the path and find the origin of the sound. It's a scarecrow. Oh, we can dodge, all that fun stuff, what is this? Straw mushroom. Oh. We probably should take these in order to eat them. Oh, what is this? You're finally here. It's a little house of some sort. I am the omnip omnipotent and perilous guardian of the land. I've been waiting here a long time. Okay. You have proven your worthiness by making your way here. <laughs> I can get you out of this place, but you'll have to offer me one portion of food first. Give. When an item is selected, click the last pass button and give it to somebody. Okay. So, lift up. Oh, give one. I already gave one. There. Now I feel much better. Transforming. What are you transforming into? Do you mean like a giant monster? Oh, it's a hat. Okay. It's Tootie Gong. Consider yourself lucky to see my true form. I will now escort you out of here as I promised. Okay, so this is like the tutorial area. So we need to get through here and then we can get into like the main game probably. Oh, he just ate me. Um, <laughs> okay. I was eaten by a monster. Okay, we are here. We have made it. So, a safe arrival. Oh, look at this area. Okay, hold on. So let's do, um, I guess we can just do some exploration and figure out what's going on. Pick up all this stuff, pull up all this stuff. We just got a whole bunch of uh, tools and stuff that we can build and make and things like that. Okay, so a safe arrival. Thank you. You would have been stuck back there for the rest of your life if I didn't help you. Uh, what is this place? I was going to take you out, but I caught wind of your burning desire, so I brought you here instead. Rest assured, you've landed in the right spot, and I've chosen a safe haven to touch down. Take a gander at your surroundings for the time being. Okay. Click straw mushrooms, collect ripe yarn. A ripe yam, sorry. Requires physique to reach 103. Oh, so there's also like attribute levels and things like that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. Look at all this. Uh, so physique is 100. You've got new, f what the heck is going on here? Digestive power, 120%. Uh, okay. There's a lot going on there. Let's go look around. What is this? Fire lick? Okay. That's kind of cool. I want to see like, I want to see what we got around here though. Okay. Fog envelops. What is, what does that mean? Maybe, oh my gosh. What the heck is that? It's a giant floating like frog demon thing. I don't even know. I doubt it's a demon. You know, I wonder if there's stuff that we have to do to like um, go into the fog further. Oh, this is cool. Oh, we got like a little uh, little swamp thing that I don't think we want to go swimming in that water. That water looks pretty nasty. There's all kinds of things everywhere. Oh, there's somebody here. Hello. Oh, there was somebody there. <laughs> they're not. They're not looking too hot anymore. Okay. So I guess we probably should just continue on with um, our, our little mission here. What is this fog? Interesting. Oh, our physique, we're 101 now. Oh wait. Withered crop. There's a hoe. I've got a hoe. <laughs> I got a stone hoe, yeah. So that's probably gonna teach us how to, uh, just so helps we have some seeds here. You can cultivate the land and grow. All right, let's grab this stuff. Collect straw mushrooms. Where are the straw mushrooms at? Oh my God, there's a chicken over here. Hold on. Oh, there's like a whole pack of them. Hello? There's a whole pack of chickens. Oh, there's like a castle. Okay. 
it's a bit warm it is a bit warm i guess um i'm looking for straw i'm looking for the straw mushrooms straw mushroom and ripe yam we collected a whole bunch back before we uh teleported oh wait there's almost like a beacon wait is there a beacon right there it looks like there's a beacon right here oh what do i do i go out and do it okay it seems kind of safe around here we can also expect i feel like this fog is probably not great there's definitely something there mist rats be careful you're you're currently in fog your visibility becomes poor it will also cost your equipment to break faster be careful of ghost fire creatures in the mist as they will continuously attack you however misfortune and fortune are closely intertwined as long as you can solve the mist troubles this area will bring richer harvest oh okay so better stuff are going in there got it okay camping and gathering to craft a flint knife press the open that tools plant any crop any any croft any crop all right, so let's get our knife, I guess. Oh, look at all the stuff that we have here. Um, handicraft, where is the, where's the flint knife? Oh, the flint knife is literally just a piece of flint. Okay. So we've got that. Um, collect with flint knife. Oh, all right. So I need to switch to empty hand harvest. Oh. It's like way faster. Okay. Gotcha. Now we need to craft a workbench. All right. Here we go. Workbench. Okay. So we need straw rope. Can I click on this? Yes. Okay. Two straw rope. And then we want to go to, hold on. If we hit X again, we want to go to this. We want to build right there. Okay. We've done it. Ha <laughs> ha open air oh that means it probably should be inside to craft a stone hammer okay so we need a hammer and i bet you the hammer is going to give us the ability to build stuff so we need straw rope which i can click on i like that you can click on the needed ingredients and uh, be able to make what you need to okay so craft a stone hammer acquires oh requires workbench open hammer craft build at least four foundations press x to open the building okay now okay my inventory is getting a little full here so if i go through and what is this oh am i i'm probably getting hungry okay okay so i need to go ahead and hit x and then i need to place down foundations where's our foundation stone did it say stone place build at least four foundations okay uh stone foundation requires a little bit more stone than what i have and requires a hammer well we have a hammer oh inventory where is my inventory at okay it's my bag right there so let's go ahead and swap this out and actually can i put these in here all right so now if i have the hammer out and i have x and then i go into this and i go into stone foundation and i go to build okay so stone foundation and stone foundation all right we did stone foundations Build at least four pillars or walls. Press X to go. Okay. This is easy enough. I like this. The building is, it's super simple. I like that. Um, okay. Now let's see. What do I have? Oh, do I not have any, do I not have an ax? Hold on. Let's, let's go to, um, open this guy. I need some straw rope and some stone. Straw rope. Batch craft. Let's get all of those going. Now, if I leave that cube, will it still go? Let's see. No, it will not. So you have to sit here and wait for it to craft. Okay. So we're gonna get that, and then we're gonna go find some more stone so we can get a um an axe, a pickaxe, and we can get more stone with a pickaxe and stuff like that. Ah, oh, this is fun. I like this. So the goal: get a little house built. That's what I mean. That's what we gotta do. Oh no. Okay. Apparently, if you. If you hit fire lick with a flint, it ignites it on fire. <laughs> that's uh, that's good to know. Good to know. Luckily, it didn't catch everything else on fire. Oh, that would have been fun. Okay, do I have the stuff now for... We need to do a pickaxe first. Uh, because wood is not an issue. Stone is kind of a little bit harder to find. So we'll grab that. Open our bag. Let's throw the rope in there, throw the stone in there, grab our pickaxe. 
And then let's see. Okay, so stone. Let's grab this bad boy. Okay, so I don't know what the deal is with the um, the mining stuff. I just press and hold E. One, two, three. It takes four hits, right? I mean, that's not bad. But then if I do this uh, QTE dig easy. One, two, three, four. See, I mean, it took the same hits. Now, if I, if I would have did a better job, it probably would have done better. <laughs> but it just seems like it takes longer to do it that way, you know? So uh, I'm not sure if there's a benefit for that or not. Oh, look at that. There's some straw mushrooms literally right here. Okay, so now it wants me to build four pillars of wall. So if we get our hammer out, um, let's see. Pillars. Uh, wood foundation. Bonfire. Wooden pillar. Okay, so I need wooden stick for that. Now, how do I make wooden sticks? Can I, can I make wooden sticks? Yeah. Requires workbench. Am I not at the workbench? I'm not at the workbench. Okay. So I want to make sticks. We'll make those. And then I think what we can do is we can go and hit this, go into there, go into there, and then grab wooden pillar. One, two, three, four. Okay. Shelter from wind and rain. I'm going to guess it probably wants me to put like walls and stuff like that on there. I mean, like it would only make sense. So a door. Like, okay, so I build this. Can I put it right there? And then, like, I guess just walls, right? I just want walls. Um, wood wall. Build. And we kind of want it right here. And that's all the wood that I have right now, so. Hey, we're getting somewhere. So let's see here. Um, hold on, let's get in here. Oh, I didn't. I never made an axe, did I? Do I have the stuff to make an axe? I do. Okay, good. Did 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 it get made? Was it just that fast? It was that fast. Okay, swap that out. All right. So we have our axe. Oh man, it's getting it's dark. Uh, nightophobia. The be being in darkness will create a mental burden, significantly accelerating the rate of spirit cost. Cre creating torches and bonfires or relying on any illuminating plants can offset this effect. Sleeping near a campfire or on a bed to quickly pass through the night. Oh, we probably should try to do that. Okay. Well, hold on a second. If I go into this and I go into that, there was a bonfire. Um, I just need some wood. Okay, hold on. Let's see. There's a log right here. Switch to axe. All right, there's a whole bunch of wood. Grab that wood as well. And then what we'll do is we'll try to make a bonfire here. Um, Boom, bonfire, build. Hey, look at that, straw bed roll. We'll build this too. We'll build it like right here. Okay, now can I sleep? Hey, look at that. Oh wait, so do I have to choose? Oh, I can choose a wake up time. There we go. Okay. Invigorated and malnutrition. <laughs> Bonfire is still going very nice. Straw bedroll is very nice. Okay. Look at that. We slept through the night. I can't even believe it. So we need some more logs so we can finish our house. You know, I'm actually kind of curious. Can we cook anything on this? So if I open that material. Oh, add fuel and ingredients and wait for the food to get cooked. Okay. So we have to take it out of there before it gets burnt. And then if we want to add fire, add more things to this, we can add a couple more logs. Interesting. I like how simple things are in this. This is very nice. It's very just, uh, it's simple. It's straightforward. It looks cool. The artwork's cool. This is definitely fun. It definitely, it would, this is going to be an amazing multiplayer game for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat these. So if I grab this, eat that, how much does that give me food-wise? Not a lot. It's a 13. Okay, what about this guy? That's 19. That's pretty good. What about a radish by itself? Couldn't cook the radishes. Four. Oh, it did give me a hydration though. Okay, <laughs> overeating. Uh, have you seen me? <laughs> There's no such thing as overeating. Okay. So let's get um, some more walls, I guess. Okay, so there's that. Now, how do I 
We need a roof of some sort. Wooden foundation. Wooden floor. I mean, maybe this? Okay, I mean, there's there's a floor. I need more wood, though. <laughs> I just feel like there's gonna be a hole above the door, too, though. Whoa! Okay, sometimes if you hit these trees, like, with... Like, it, it did it in one hit last time. I was like, holy moly. Okay, I can see maybe the benefit of that. <laughs> All right, so I think we have our, I think our wooden box is looking good. We need a roof right here, but I feel like there's a, a hole right here. So let's see, let's grab that, let's grab that, and then let's grab um, this build. Okay, but what about this hole right here? <laughs> I feel like there's a hole. Okay, is there any way for me to, oh, hold. Hey, there we go. Um, and then, let's see. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted. I can't see. There we go. Okay. I hit H and it like brought me into the house. There we go. Okay, cool. So now it's not open anymore. So I should be able to go ahead and interact with this. And because it, ha it has like a, a, like a health bar. And I wonder if that was because it was sitting outside. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's get some armor. And do we have any kind of weapon right now? <laughs> I guess we have a wooden club. Uh, let's make one of those. And then, what is this? Grass sandals. We do have a furnace. Oh, a beak mace? Oh, we have to get a sharp beak from that. Oh, there's a flint spear. Oh, we should get a flint spear. Um, and then we need to get armor. Okay, here, let's go in here. Let's grab the straw rope. Batch craft. Oh darn, I don't have enough. Okay. Let's go grab some more uh stuff for straw rope. Ooh, there's some kind of ore right there. Okay, I should have enough for our um stuff now. So I want this. Craft, craft, and then all flint spear. Craft that. And then what do we need for this? Straw rope. Okay, so let's get that. We need four. And okay, so it does all four at one time. Oh, very nice. Craft that. That's gonna be a armor piece for us. Yeah, look at us being all armored up and stuff. Okay, what is this? A straw hat. Hat woven from common rush, more for blocking the sun than defending against attacks. Uh for common rush it took a lot of work, but it didn't work well. Speedy? I mean it gives us speedy. So Let's do that, craft those. Might as well get everything we can. And then a hat, craft the hat. Look at that, we've got it all, okay. Now what is this? A uh, straw bag, a small bag that doesn't hold much. We already have one like that though. See this is a capacity of 15, what does this one say its capacity is? Oh, this one's capacity is 25. Okay, so that one's definitely better. Um, Look at us. Oh, it looks like we're almost ready to go fight. We're ready to take on the world. The world. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go. Get, let's get some more of this uh, common rush, and then we'll get a bigger bag too. And then we're gonna go out and explore. We're gonna go fight something. Okay. So small bag. Craft that. Now, how is this gonna work? Is it gonna swap out automatically? No. Okay. So I have to go in here. Can I swap this with this? <gasps> yeah. Look at that. Okay. So our bag is much bigger. And let's go ahead and swap out that. Let's swap out that. And let's go, let's go fight something. All right, we're ready. We're ready. Uh, there's a dungeon thing right here. And there's some chickens right here. So let's see if we can get these guys. Hiya! Oh my gosh. Oh, I like that. They have like a health bar and like a shield bar too. We got chicken feathers, chicken meat, egg. Did we get a, um, ooh. Did we get any beaks? We need a sharp beak in order to get, um, what are these? Did we fight one of these guys? Oh, you can't fight them. Well, maybe you can, maybe I just don't have the right stuff. Huh. 
There's so many chickens. Oh. Oh, ghost fire. He's like, he only attacks or something like. Oh, you can only attack him when he's got his little, when his body's like out. All right, this is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's a bonfire right there. Oh, there, what is that? Can I get up this wall? Oh, we did it. We parkoured. Open. What did we get? I don't even know what we got. Great burn it wound patch. Okay. Do we get any beaks? No beaks. It sounds like we made a lot of chickens very upset. <laughs> no, don't run. No. Oh, look at all the bamboo everywhere. I need a, I need a beak. These guys might not drop beaks. I don't know. Ow. Okay, don't touch those things. Oh, hello. Any beaks? No beaks. Okay, we also have that pink thing up there that we need to head to, but let's head back over here. Let's see if we can heal up a little bit, because like our health we took we took some we took some damage a little bit. That was actually kinda cool. <laughs> that, was, that was a fun time. Oh yeah, we got some charcoal. Um, all right, let's see what we have. What's in our bag here? So oh, we have some we have some meats now We could probably cook that up. That would be great Let's drop these off in here and drop that in there. Okay Um, I guess let's let's head over to this pink thing and let's see what uh, let's see what this pink thing has to offer What is it? Oh, it's like a giant shrine or something What is this? Rotate Oh. Uh oh. Um. Add. Oh snap! I did something. I don't know what I did. What's gonna happen? Oh, it's the toad. Uh oh, I didn't just summon it, did I? Like a boss battle or something? Um. Excuse me, what? Oh, he's a little tiny, tiny guy. Oh. Dragon scale? What do I do with it? This little guy's adorable now. Bubblefish. I probably should kill it. Oh, you know what I just realized? The fog is gone now. Well, I don't want to kill it though. Uh, scale fall of dragon. Wait, can I feed it? What if I feed it something? If I do this, uh, lift up. Can I offer it to you? Is that like a thing I can do? I don't even know. Hello. Okay, maybe not. Um, what about what about mushroom? Lift up. Oh, there's a person. I just don't feel like this guy's supposed to be mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like we're supposed to take him out. Uh, hello, who are you? Strange, whoa, there's other people here. Nice to meet you for the first time. Um, chat? May I ask your name? Uh, Can Man Yan. Okay. So there's NPC, what about the area? So there's like NPCs and stuff like that in the area. That's kind of cool. So we did this thing and it got rid of all the fog over here. I don't know what we're supposed to do with that thing though. That thing is cool. I, I feel like I want to make it my pet, but I don't I don't really know. That was cool. Okay, and then basically we continue on. And then there's like even more stuff to do. And like, they're definitely, I could say, say right now, if we had, having like a group of people, 
would, would be a good time here. That'd be, that'd be a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to get a beak. <laughs> I was trying to get a beak so we could get our something. Um, so now as we head out, do we have like a map? Oh, we do. Runic sage stone. Wait, is this my base? Oh, this is my base. Oh, that means it's done. Like we did this one. Okay, so hold on. I'm facing this one. Uh, Luna well. Oh, that's what we just did. We just did the Luna well. What is this one? A uh, jar camp. Uh oh. So this is my stuff right here. Wait, what is a runic stage stone? What is that? It's right here. It was right behind us the whole time. What do you do? Requires physique to be 103. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's what it said. Okay. This is really interesting. This is very cool. I, I gotta say, I, I am thoroughly enjoying this. Uh, but that is gonna end this look at Pathless Woods. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I'll have a link down below. Make sure you check it out. This is a cool little game. I gotta say, I'm enjoying this. So um, if you wanna see more, make sure you leave a like, comment down below. And maybe we'll continue our journey, continue on, and uh, see how things are going. Cause this, like I said, I'd like to explore this. I feel like there's a lot more to do. Uh, there definitely is a lot more to do. And uh oh. We have more we have more um, ghost fire people. Uh, maybe I should just oh look at the size of that one. Okay, I just need to head back. <laughs> it's dark time. Dark time is scary time. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see more, leave a comment, leave a like down below. Let me know. And uh, again, a huge shout out to the developers for sponsoring this video. I do appreciate it. And uh, like I said, if we get enough if we get enough attention, we'll be back. But that's gonna end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.